what's good y'all welcome to my review for Godzilla the King of Monsters this movie was fucking phenomenal this right right here ladies and gentlemen is a fucking kaiju and also fuck all the critics out there fuck Rotten Tomatoes for having a 40% on this movie fuck them these critics clearly didn't know a goddamn thing when they walked in this theater what were you expecting a thought what were you expecting some character study it's a fucking kaiju movie we here for monsters, not uh, not uh, in-depth three-dimensional characters and shit. Like, what the fucking kaiju movie? What were you fuckers looking for? Anyway, little red say it's one of the many. This right here just proves my point of why you sh why Rotten Tomatoes is a, a fucking joke. Two, you should not listen to it, and B, never take anything they say seriously. Now, granted, Doc Phoenix has a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes, and even people who are fans of X-Men. Don't even like the movie. I won't lie, that makes me a little concerned when I see the movie on Saturday. Or tomorrow, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe not Saturday, it might be Sunday, honestly, I don't know. But But I still I still think I'm gonna end up lacking the movie. Hopefully, because I do not want to end up leaving the theater hating an X-Men movie because I love X-Men. I don't want to see Dark Phoenix you'll fail. I wanna see this movie. So see, I wanna see X-Men series go out pretty good before we before they take their high A's before they come back to the MCU. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, 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 so without further ado, let's just jump right into this movie. So the movie is directed by Michael uh, Duggerty Dugger and stars Malia Bobby Brown, Vera Far Farminga, Zanga Zia, Zii, Zii, I don't know you say that name, Charles Dance, K Kyle Chandler, Sally Hawkins, and many more. And so the plot of Godzilla, King of Mon the King of Monsters, is that takes place after the events of the first movie from back in 2014. Follows his family. They've been working on this device to help con to help control and help work together with the kaiju's, you know. And of course, evil people show up who want to use it to destroy the world and or bring it back to where it's rightfully placed is with the god with the tie deal with the kaiju's and then you got got gods the, the winner. You who, who, none of y'all even give a damn about the story anyway. All of you guys here come and watch this review. All you give a damn about is how are the fights? How are the kaiju's? How is Godzilla throwing hands? What is it like? First off, I have to say, I saw the movie in IMAX. Definitely check out the movie in IMAX. It's great. It looks amazing. Uh, one thing I was gonna say, yo, the, they played the, yo. One of the trailers they showed off here uh, was the Joker trailer. I have to say, yo, the Joker trailer looks fucking amazing in IMAX. Like, yo, the trailer looks ten times better than when you saw it on YouTube. It looks so much better when it's on the big screen on IMAX. The whole it takes up the whole screen too. So the movie was filmed in IMAX too, and it just looks so fucking good. It looks fucking amazing, guys. So. If you're not gonna watch, watch movie in IMAX for no other reason, just because you get to see the Joker trailer in IMAX. It looks fucking amazing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so that was fucking for now. I absolutely love the uh, man. I'm so hyped for the Joker movie coming out in um, next year. Coming out next year or late? No, no, no. It's coming out in October this year. What am I talking about? So yeah, um, let me get, let me start with the positive. Hat. I love love. First off, the kaiju fights. They are fucking phenomenal. They are hard hitting. They are visceral. They are badass. Godzilla looks like the beast that he is. And when you see all the other guys, like King Ghidorah, Mothra, all the other gods, all the other typical Godzilla monsters, they all look fucking phenomenal. And I loved every time they were on screen. Every time they were on screen, it was a fucking, it was a treat to the eyes. Especially when you got those big ass speakers with the IMAX in the background. Ooh, that's an experience, ladies and gentlemen. So the kaiju fights are fucking phenomenal, first off. I love the kaiju fights. Godzilla looks amazing. The CGI is fucking phenomenal. It looks so damn good. The kaiju fights, I have to, I have to say, are amazing. Um, the fa the actually, the original uh, family, um, themselves, their act the acting is actually also pr a good, pretty good across the board. Um, the family themselves were pretty good. They were not, you were not like, oh, Jesus Christ, give me back to Godzilla. Like, now, Greg, it'll probably differ from person to person. If you're someone that just solely wants kaiju battles, you'll probably hate the human characters and you'll just be looking at your wall and be like, when are, when's Godzilla showing up again? Where's Godzilla? Where is my man Godzilla? But if you don't mind human characters in Godzilla movies, and hell, you even kind of like them in certain ones, uh, I think you'll actually enjoy the human characters in the movie. They're pretty good. Um, 
I actually really enjoyed them. There were there was a couple guys. There was actually a couple ones that I preferred. One thing I love, I love the little girl. I, I forget her name, uh, but like there's this one scene where she is with like the with like the villain of the movie, and she, and then she starts rubbing her eye with, with her middle finger. <laughs> that old scene had me laughing. That scene was great. Um, yeah, the kaiju fights like I mentioned before are oh, fucking phenomenal, man. Every time they're on screen, it is a feast for the eyes. I love every second. That they're on screen, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, first of all, I was gonna say one thing. Yo, somebody at Warner Brothers is a huge fan of Mothra. Because when this woman shows up, she comes out like she is the second coming of Christ. I shit you not. If you have seen the movie, you know exactly what I mean. Because I was watching that, then Mothra shows up with her wings there, and I'm like, what are you, Jesus? <laughs> she legit comes out like she is the second coming of Christ. <laughs> Blinding light and everything. It's it's ridiculous, man. It, it was it's ridiculous. But anyway, anyway. So let me get to some of the niggas with the movie, which honestly I did not have many. Um, only just because the characters aren't all that interesting. Also, the human characters. I mean, they're fine. They get the job done, but they're not. But they are pretty one. Most of them are pretty one dimensional. The family is okay, but and the Asian characters are also pretty good. I like those those guys as well. But everyone else was. Eh, Ice Cube's son, eh, he was fine, eh, all the other scientists, the marine, the marines, eh, they're fine, the villain is cliche as hell, but honestly, were you expecting anything else from a Godzilla movie? Like I mentioned, you are here for kaiju battles, and nothing more, and nothing less, and this movie satisfies you when it comes to the kaiju, ooh, that final fight with Godzilla, ooh, I won't say nothing, I won't spoil nothing for y'all, but ooh, was it fucking fire, ladies and gentlemen. Both literally and figuratively. Anyway, anyway. So overall, I give Godzilla, the King of Monsters, a 10 out of 10. This was without one of my favorite movies to come out this year. Highly recommend if you're a fan of Godzilla, Kaiju, Pacific Rim, anime. Yeah, if you don't talk, you're gonna love this movie. <laughs> I recommend this to all people who love to see monsters throwing hands. And King Kong vs. God and King Kong vs. Godzilla next year? <gasps> oh, I'm hot as hell for that, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Tori Flugger. Links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.